<coughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Brookdale Farm. Um, today we're down at the neighbour's place and uh, we just got to do a little bit of maintenance to their Matty Ferguson 65 tractor. These are great little small tractors for small farms. Um, they've got a four cylinder Perkins diesel in which I think is about 65 horsepower. <coughs> um, they're one of the the little light tractors they're a very reliable little tractor generally uh, this one only gets used about once a year uh, for slashing slashing their 10 acre block um, and then just sits here for the rest of the time but it always seems to start and run and uh, uh, get get the job done today we've got to take the starter motor off and do a starter motor repair to it here's the the starter motor here and it's not very hard to get off there's three bolts one here one here and one tucked in the back that's quite hard to get to there's the earth wire at the back here and a couple of wires on the solenoid here um, so I'm just going to whip that off and we'll have a look and see what's going wrong with it it's got a problem in the solenoid here um, so to get this off We've got to take this little brass bridge off here. Uh, now there's two little bolts here we need to undo. Now the other thing we need to do here is there is a wire soldered on here. We need to undo that solder there and it looks as though there's also wire soldered on here so we'll need to unsolder that as well before we can pull the back off this solenoid okay so we've got our soldering iron hot now, old solder always takes a lot more to melt than new solder for some reason it seems to work harden a bit um, but also we're going to have to heat up a fair bit because we need to heat this tab up here before the solder is going to start melting. So we'll just take a moment to, to melt this solder. And we just want to try and get some of the, the old solder away from around the hole while we're doing this. And there's a few different things you can use. You can actually get special solder sucking tools. You heat up the solder and then it's a little vacuum pump that just sort of sucks it away. You can also get some braided copper wire that just that you put on there and it just soaks up the solder. Um, I don't have any either of them here with me today. So I'm just gonna scrape it away with the with a little screwdriver. So that first one is the power for the solenoid and this side is the earth for the solid for the coils in the, the electromagnet in the solenoid okay so we've got that apart now we can see the two wires that we just unsoldered there um, this ring here is the ring that is supposed to be making a good electrical connection with these two pieces in here um, and you can see how dirty they are there's no way they're going to be making a good connection. This should just slide out. Um, pull that spring off. Um, and then there's a little there's a little clip in here so that we can we can get this apart. Oh there we go, the washer comes off first. Then the clip slides out, um, and then we can get this off. I wonder if that is the same way both ways around. So we can probably just simply turn this around and put it back on the other way around. Uh, that's a nice clean new face on that side. Uh, this little washer here is actually what holds this clip on that's an interesting way to do that okay now to clean these up we're going to take them out this one here is actually quite worn um, you can see 
how see the line and how much thinner it is down there so we're just going to undo the nuts on the back here um, and take these two terminals out this makes it much easier to clean everything up before we put it back together Whenever you're taking things like this apart, just remember which way round it goes back together. Um, I just like to put everything in little piles that match up uh, so that I know where all the bits came from. Also, a lot of these bits are the same on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which way round you put it other than you want the two terminals back on the, the battery side of the solenoid. Okay, so there are our two terminals. Um, here you can have a better look at just how worn this one is and how pitted it is. They are going to work again. We're going to make them work again um, because we don't want to spend too much money on fixing this tractor up. It doesn't get enough use. Uh, so we're just going to clean these up and they will last for another few years like that. So ideally with these, you want a nice flat square smooth shiny surface um, because of how worn this is we're not going to get it back to that I've just got a file and I'm going to give it a bit of a clean up with that and then a bit of emery paper that's a pretty good surface on there that'll work fine The other thing you can do with these is build them up with a bit of silver solder um, and that uh, and then make a nice flat smooth surface with that. Okay, so now we're going to reassemble the, all of these bits. Uh, the worn, the most worn contact was the negative contact, so that goes on the bottom here. Uh, with this uh, tab that we solder onto going over this hole here um, then washer spring washer and nut I like to put just a little tiny dob of grease on the contacts. Graphite grease works well if you've got that. A lot of people say don't put anything on. I find this just helps them stay uh, cleaner for a little bit longer. Okay, um, take this off. Put this little spring back in where it belongs. That's quite important, that little spring. Washer, spring washer, nut. Okay. 
Okay, we'll solder these back on now. Okay, so the brass connection can go back on. Now we can test this data motor by hooking a battery up to it. Now I don't know how much power this battery's got in it, but we'll give it a go. Uh, put the negative jumper lead onto the back terminal here. The positive jumper lead goes onto the where the battery would bolt onto. Um, and then to energize the solenoid, we just want to put power from here across to here. We can do that with our little screwdriver. So if I just do that again, you can see the gear here come popping out and coming back in. So hopefully that starter motor now is going to work. We'll go back down and we'll put it on and see if we can get the tractor going. So it's pretty easy to refit the starter motor on this. There's three bolts and a couple of wires. And uh, yeah, these are pretty simple tractors to work on. They're good little tractors. Back bolt on it is a little tricky to to get a spanner onto, um, but other than that, they're just they're, they're easy tractors to work on. This front bolt here also has the earth wire on it um, for going back to the battery, um, and a wire that comes down to here to earth the starter motor. actually went behind the starter motor. So then we have these wires here to go back on and the main battery lead here.
now to activate the solenoid. That's not a very good clip. We might replace that later on, but we'll get it going first. And the earth wire on the back here. Um, the earth wire on the back here is a bit of uh, belt and braces. It doesn't really need this because it does actually earth through the um, chassis of the tractor as well up to this front one. Put the battery back on and see if it's going to run. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you've learned a little bit. Uh, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.